What is up everybody? We are back again with another gym video. Chest day, push day. We're gonna be hitting the chest and the triceps today in, in today's lift. So as you can see, I'm on the Smith machine. This is one of my favorite, favorite uh, machines for doing incline press, just for the added stability it brings. I also really love using the Smith press just because it kind of gives you like more confidence to really um, up the weight, especially because you kind of have your own self spot when you're by yourself. If you can't get it up, you just twist it, you know, and you can get out. So for my working sets, I have two plates on either side. I'm not quite sure what the actual weight is because the Smith bar machine is a little bit lighter than just a normal bar. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been working for uh, getting 225 for 10, um, and I've been getting around eight to nine reps every time. So this is perfect. I'm still within the range. I keep pushing this weight until I can get to 10 reps. Um, and then I will up the weight by about five pounds. Um, and if that's not enough, obviously add a little bit more. But so this is me chasing 225 for 10. And uh, right after this set is when I, I take off um, a plate from both sides and just kind of go for like the final fry session of these. I go no break, immediately take them off, go right back into it. Um, I feel like this is like a different burn than the last few sets. Like 225 is pretty heavy, like getting up to the to the eight, nine reps, like you start feeling the weight getting really heavy and you can't push through. But like with with this final fry session, it just it feels so much better because like the first two reps, my chest is already burning from the last 225 set. So but like I can still move the weight and I keep moving the weight. So it's just like a different kind of burnout and that's why I like them. It really kind of gets the mind muscle connection too, because you feel nothing but your chest. And then uh, a good teaching point right here is where I, I jump straight into um, the flat bench, dumbbell. Um, and I was feeling myself, so I grabbed the 100s, right? As you can see, I'm kind of struggling to push them around because my, my chest is already fatigued from the last go. So I, I'm not sure how many that was, but it definitely wasn't um, in my 10 rep range, eight to 10 rep range. So as you can see, I, I back down to 80 pounds so I can ma uh, maintain proper form while doing my presses. Because at the end of the day, having proper form and moving the weight at the appropriate speed is going to get you the most results. Then after uh, the flat dumbbell bench, I went straight into the cable flies. And uh, as you can see, I have the cables all the way up to the top. I have a slight bend at the waist. Um, and I have a slight bend in my elbows. And for this movement right here, the way that I'm set up, it's gonna be more of uh, the middle part of my chest, the way that the cables line up with the fibers. So, as you see, I, I do I like to do um, middle, upper, and lower if I can. Um, so, we just tackle the middle here, and then I move over and hit another middle set on this machine. Um, I feel like it's a little bit easier to up the weight again because of the added stability of sitting down and having a backrest. So I did a couple sets with the standing cables and then two sets of 10 um, with me sitting down. And then I've seen this recently. If you stand up in the same machine here, um, it helps to target your lower chest. Um, and I haven't, I haven't been able to hit my lower chest very well recently, so this has been a great uh, game changer for me. Back to the cable machine, I'm doing the tricep pull downs. And I'm using the V-bar just because it kind of feels a little bit better in my hands and my elbows. But um, I want to point out this, this, this movement here where I kind of push it down and then lift my elbows forward. Um, that's a movement I learned from C-Bum, so here's him explaining it. First rep, you just drive straight down, and then when you bring it up the next time, you're gonna come slowly here, and raise your hands up a little bit, and you're letting your elbows fall forward. This range of motion right here, is focusing a lot on the long head of your tricep, like I said, the meaty part of it right here, and the final part of the movement, where you're pressing down, is gonna be more of the lateral head. So here's me, uh, from a different angle, doing, doing what C-Bum just explained. Um, and I did, I think I did three sets of 10, um, on those cable pull downs and then I just finished the day off with some single arm tricep extensions 
just to kind of finish the burnout like I always like to do. And you see me grabbing the cable here. This is just to help me kind of get the weight down. Um, and then I let go of the eccentric. Because um, for arms, especially triceps and biceps, the eccentric movement is huge for uh, time under tension. What's up guys? Thanks for watching my second gym YouTube video. I did it. Posted two days, like I said I would. Let's keep it up. See how long we can do it for. If you like the video, subscribe, hit the like button. If you, if you wanna see something different, something I missed, put it in the comments. Got anything for me? Hit me up. I wanna talk to people. I wanna, I wanna start reaching out to people. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you watched. And we'll see you in the next one.